More news, more announcements, more deals. Welcome to day four of Conexpo Conag 2017. The wait is over for Power Kerbers and Power Pavers' loyal customer base, as the company launches two new machines at this year's show. This is the Power Paver 2404. It's our brand new offering from Power Pavers, a four-track highway class slip form paver. Now the thing that we're excited about is with our four-track system, we're now allowed to get into the DBI market. This machine paves up to seven and a half meters wide. One of the things we're very excited about is the wraparound platform for the operator. So he can walk around the entire machine. He has wonderful visibility. Uh, we also have a crowning capability in this machine that allows you on the fly to go from, from crowning to flat paving all hydraulically. We've had our customers uh, asking for years for us to go from two track pavers to four track. So it's been nice to see their reaction as they come in and realize this will put them into a class they haven't been able to do in the past. To power curbers, we primarily manufacture machines for curb and gutter, smaller barrier wall, and sidewalks. We're introducing a multi-purpose machine there, our 7700, that will take us into large barrier wall, large ditches, and paving up to six meters wide. Uh, being able to do six meter paving will allow our contractors to bid a job where they want to do the barrier and the paving with one machine. We've had a lot of folks say, I've been waiting for this machine. They're very glad to see it and ready to get it on the projects. Vogler hoped to capture greater market share in the US with machines designed specifically for American needs for greater maneuverability and paving speeds. Well, in the U.S. market, the North American market is, uh, is different from the markets in the other part of the world. where we, Our maneuver speeds and our paving speeds are different. So what we're showing here is a, a tractor that has a higher maneuver speed, whether the undercarriage, instead of being steel track with rubber pads at a slower speed, has a rubber band track that goes at a higher maneuver speed to maneuver around the job sites. And then we show the vibratory only screeds whether it's a rear mount or, like I said, the front mounted extension screed. It's a very big market opportunity here in uh, Canada and the United States. So we're, we're trying to capitalize on that market. So we've taken a you know, fantastic product from the worldwide and adapted, made small adaptions. The eight foot class machine, for example, is used a little differently, sometimes on highway class work. So the hopper is a little larger to accept more material so they can use it for those different applications. Our goal is to be the number one market leader here in North America. And with the product here that we're offering and with the variety of options and, uh, and technology that we have, we think that there's no reason that we can't get to that point in, in the next three years. Listening to their customers has been the driving force behind Lee Boy's new and extensive range of asphalt pavers. The most exciting thing that we've got here is a redesign of two of our pavers. It gave us an opportunity to actually go back and listen to the contractor and say, hey, what do you need from us that would make this paver better for you? They needed a more ergonomic control panel. So what we did was we made a control panel where they could reach very easily and adjust back and forth. We actually took our hydraulic systems in our pavers and instead of having things run in series where you might steal hydraulic power from one or the other, now all those functions can be run on top of each other one at a time without losing any power. Now our customers can run a full day on a tank of fuel. We'll stand out machine today is the 8616. Now this is a paver that we've had out for some years. Some of the things that we've done is put a new hydraulic generator for the electric screed system. And in these screeds, we have put new S-curve elements, which allows the entire screed, even the center, to heat up very fast and very evenly, getting you on the job faster. We also added for the customer a three to one reduction in our depth screws. So even a small child could turn that with one hand. One other thing that we added was a grip strut walk board. That's just some of the things that we've done for the customer just to really make it better for him in the long run. So he gets more value and return on his investment and the end result is the lower cost per ton. 
when he's ready to trade it in, he knows he's got a machine that will bring him a high resale value, ready to invest in his next Lee Boy paper. The Amman family of products include a range of cutting-edge light compaction machines. Amman is well known for its asphalt plants, but uh, they also have an extensive line of light compaction equipment. A lot of unique features, covers the whole range of compaction when it comes to light equipment. We offer tampers, jumping jacks as some people call them. We offer four directional plates and reversible hydrostatic and mechanical driven hydraulic plates. We are the only one in the industry that offers a three-shaft exciter reversible plate. Reversible plates are mainly designed for compaction of granular material. The three-shaft exciter technology allows that plate to be more flexible, so you can use it in higher cohesive or clay content, you can use it in higher moisture content, and you can use it on a wide range of uh, aggregate, from the small, very small fines and silts and sands up to the large three-inch aggregate. One of our other highlights at the show is our tampers. We have the ACR 68 and the ACR 60. The nice thing about those machines is they're four cycle. They're high impact, high stroke, very uh, good travel behavior and very stable. And last but not least, our four directional plates. Some unique features on ours. We have optional transport wheels, Vulcan mats for compaction on interlocking stone. So it's a very well-rounded line of compaction equipment and we have a lot of interest, a lot of interest. Kleeman's all-new Mobicone Pro MCO11i is a brand new design featuring their continuous feed system. Well, this machine here is a brand new machine we brought to Con Expo 2017. It's called the Mobicone MCO11 Pro. Generally, it's a cone crusher. This is a 44-inch cone crusher that's a new design for Kleeman and the whole complete machine. We have a brand new system called CFS, which is called Continuous Feed System, which feeds the cone and regulates the feed of material going into the actual cone itself. The cone itself is a brand new design cone. Instead of using backing to put the liners in, it's a, it's a machine fit and actually fits in very easily so the operators can change these liners in and out pretty quickly. We took this machine to tier four level, final level. The engine has now moved from the top section of the machine to the lower section and we've put all the electrics up in the top section where the engine used to be. The concept is much easier access for the operator to work with and also um, gives us more flexibility with the machine. This machine is diesel electric, so the consumption is very low in fuel, but the big advantage is that you can run this from its own power source or plug it into main supply as well. Another highlight for Con Expo 2017 for us, not only is this cone, is the operating platform or the user interface that we actually put onto the cone. It's called Spective. And what that does, it allows the operator much easier use of the machine, better understand what's going on with the machine. It also allows the operator to fault code and find and show him how to fix problems on the machine. I think the new technology our customers are starting to see on this equipment, they're impressed with. It's actually kind of cool to see the younger people um, really um, applying themselves to the new interface. And when they see this machine here, they're pretty impressed. Ambitious Keys Track have launched their first ever fully hybrid crusher, the H4, at this year's show. We are one of the fastest growing crushing and screen companies in the world today. In the last three or four years, we've seen a continuous growth in a market that's been declining. This unit, we call it a full hybrid unit. That means it can either be driven as a diesel or we can plug into a genset or we can plug into the main lines of electricity. This machine is a complete, fully utilized crusher that will run on its own in a sand and gravel plant. We can achieve up to about 200 tons an hour. The unit's very fast to set up easy to transport. The customer can take this unit, pick it up within half an hour and transport it to the next site and set up the same day. This unit is built with a specialized steel called an ST70. It's also coated with a nano zinc phosphate coating. It looks like it's been galvanized. Then it goes through a powder coat painting system which is one of the latest technologies in the world today. This means that this unit, when it's 10 years old, will have a perfect finish we have a large feeding hopper. After the hopper, we have a pre-screen before the cone. The material is then crushed down and we feed the material onto a three-deck screen. This three-deck screen gives us free products and products on the ground and when we recirculate the material back to the cone. So this means the customer, he will achieve around 150 tonnes an hour of high quality product on the ground, which he needs today.
So that's it for day four at Conexpo Con Ag 2017, and I'm in a rush to get back to my hotel room. So it's a good job NASCAR are in town. Remember to keep up to date with all the news at constructiontv.tv. Thank you for watching.